Peter Knight. I want to talk today about what you can do to make this year your best year ever. And with a beautiful morning like this morning, you can probably hear the cockatoos in the background. They're having a great time too. So let's make this year the best year for your golf. Now there's a number of things. The first thing is that golf's not like a video game where you can unpack it and start moving through the few levels to become a master at it in just a day or a couple of days. It's a fine motor skill and it does take a long time to learn. But that's part of the challenge and inherent fun of, of learning to play the game better because there's always a way that you can advance. Every little bit of advancement you make feels wonderful and you just feel like going out and spending more time playing the game. So don't push to make your golf improvement too fast. There's a fine line between accepting how you're actually going, whether that's good or bad, and then having a dissatisfaction with the level that you're playing at and always wanting to improve, which of course is what you should be doing. The things that you need to do first of all is to understand exactly what's happening at impact. And you might need some help with this from your coach. So when the club strikes the ball, what are the things that need to happen with the club head and club face that are going to create good impact? That's the first thing to understand. The second is commit to regular coaching. If you have a lesson, say, once a month or even more frequently than that, then it stops you going down the track of, I didn't hit a good shot there, I might just try this. It finishes up spiraling down, you're trying new things all the time and none of them seems to work. It's a fantastic recipe for frustration. If you're committing to regular coaching and following that advice from your coach, well, you'll already know in advance that you've got the opportunity to speak with your coach to find out whether you're on the right track or not and affirm that you are on the right track. The next thing is to commit to regular practice. Now, if you're hitting golf balls, depending on your your work or your study, depending on that, you might only be able to practice, say, a couple of times a week and only for short periods of time. That's fine, but make your practice quite specific to what it is that you need to do. So spend part of your practice time hitting short shots to develop those skills of making good impact. Spend part of your time working specifically on the drills that are going to make your golf better, and they're going to be the things that your coach has told you. Also spend part of your practice testing yourself. Now ways that you can do that is to take one ball, pick a target, you're going to hit it out to this target here with this particular type of shot, you've got one opportunity to do it and then you hit the shot. Next shot, pick a different target, pick, pick a different club and hit a different shot. You might then take a, a block of 10 balls and hit them all to one target with one club and see how many out of 10 you can get to finish near your target or, or inside your target area. So you're testing yourself. That's the way to get great transfer to the golf course. And finally, treat your year as a series of training blocks. I know that sounds very elite athlete talk, but if you, even if you're a beginner, say, what am I going to do for this month? What are my priorities? I'm going to practice twice a week. I'm going to have a lesson or a couple of lessons, and I'm going to work to what, what my coach has told me over that period of time. At the end of that month, I'm going to assess where I am. Now, if you're recording statistics on the golf course and your focus for the month is on putting, you're still practicing everything else, but your commitment might be to putting, then how has it improved over that month? Or has it improved? And then what are you going to do for the next month when you, because of that? So you're continually breaking the year up into one month training blocks where your focus might change a little bit from month to month. But if you have a specific focus for that month, then you're more likely to find that your golf will advance. So treat those points as the basis for what you're going to do for the year. And I'm sure that this year, is going to be the best year. And it doesn't matter what time of year you start your training year. It could be the 1st of January, it could be the middle of the year, it could be the middle of a month, and you're actually going to move forward from there. Enjoy your golf, and I'll look forward to hearing about how well you're going after the first of a number of training blocks.